Spire Hospital, the only private hospital in Hull. Serves the city and East Yorkshire. I'm finding out what treatments are available, meeting consultants and their patients, and finding out what the Spire experience is like from the moment you arrive. We take children from the age of three, so we do paediatric surgery. Denise Hutchinson is the business development manager. We do orthopaedic surgery, anything from simple uh, knee and hip replacements right through to revisional surgery. We do general surgery, including obesity surgery, and then we do uh, spinal uh, work, so we can do collapsed vertebrae and this kind of thing. Um, we do the usual kind of lumps and bumps and hernias and varicose veins and things like that. One person who's benefited from Spire is Christina. She came here for a gastric bypass five years ago and in the following two years lost an amazing 12 stone. Oh my God. But Christina didn't stop there. She's had cosmetic surgery to complement the weight loss and lots of it. It will be easy to answer what I haven't had <laughs> done. <laughs> Uh, literally, yes, yes. But you look amazing. How's it changed your life? Immensely in the way I feel about myself, uh, the way clothes fit, um, how other people actually accept me. It's changed my life completely. Christina is meeting Mr Riaz, the cosmetic consultant who was key in the success of her treatment. We started with uh, uh, breast uplift, abdominoplasty, buttock lift and arm lift in one go and then uh, at second stage we performed a lot of surgery for the face and um, there's a picture here showing that Christina before she lost weight um, that's how the appearance was and obviously after losing the weight you can see the, the whole changes in the face that it becomes skin becomes more loose and saggy and it starts showing um, signs of age uh, more than one person is then we did a lot of surgery on the face which included upper and lower blepharoplasties which is surgery for the eyelids cheek lift, face and neck lift. So that's a nearly four hours procedure. We changed face from uh, that appearance to that one. At the same time, we did some surgery for the abdomen uh, to remove some excess skin in the midline. And we also put some implants to uh, increase the size of uh, breasts. And, and at a later stage, we also performed thigh lift. So there were a lot of uh, procedures we did at that stage. Meet Emma. She came to Spire for laser eye surgery and has quite literally seen her life transform. Yeah, I didn't realise how insecure I felt with just, I mean, I was a contact lens wearer and not so much glasses, but the way times were, you know, with, with my own work going down to London or on, on courses that I did kind of like panic sometimes and think, God, what if my contact lens fell out now? What if I got something in my eye? Would I be able to get from A to B with just one contact lens? And it was quite frightening, really. And I didn't realise, so obviously, afterwards, having the procedure, that, you know, I don't have to think and worry about that and make sure I've got all my contact lens stuff and all my glasses. It takes me half the time to get ready in the morning as well, get into work. So, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Mr. Pandey, Emma's consultant, specialises in vision correction surgery. One of the few centres in this country who actually can provide the full range of vision correction surgery procedures. So almost any prescription at any age technically can be corrected. And apart from laser surgery, there are about six other procedures we do. What we do now as a standard, it's a total laser procedure. So we don't use any blades, there is no cutting at all. The rapport and trust between patient and consultant is clear to see throughout Spire. Patients speak of their consultants like trusted friends. With the caring and truly personal service, it's easy to see why. Patients, from the moment that they ring in, they can decide on which consultant they want to see, which is very important. They can choose the best time and the date to, to suit them, especially for business people. If you're, uh, you need treatment and you've only got a very short window of opportunity, then we can make sure that you get scheduled in for your theatre uh, episode within that time um, and make sure that business can continue without you. The initial experience of walking into the hospital is not that of an ordinary hospital where there is medical things surrounding you. It's like walking into a hotel lobby from the reception team right through Mr Riaz's team and the aftercare has been absolutely marvellous. The atmosphere and layout of Spire is one of welcome and friendship. The entrance and reception is more akin to that of a hotel lobby. There is no clinical smell usually associated with hospitals and the interior and furnishings are clean, modern and stylish. The bedrooms are a home from home with a television, shower and some nice little extras, not to mention the view. 
you can relax in the courtyard garden or grab a coffee and a bite to eat in the restaurant. The success of Spire has been marked with huge investment. Spire saw a 20% increase in the number of patients last year alone, prompting Spire Healthcare to create a fourth theatre and five additional single patient bedrooms, bringing the total number of bedrooms to 56. Spire Hull and East Riding Hospital is on Lowfield Road, Amberby. To find out more about Spire and the huge range of treatments available, visit www.spirehealthcare.com forward slash Hull or call 01482 659 471. Spire Healthcare, looking after you.